Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Brisman. I'm a neurosurgeon, and I'll be talking to you today on the subject of brain AVMs. Brain AVMs, or brain arteriovenous malformations, are an abnormality that we see a lot of. We treat many patients with brain AVMs using all different modalities. And usually, we treat people with brain AVMs with minimally invasive techniques. Brain AVMs, or brain arteriovenous malformations, are vascular abnormalities of the brain that people are usually born with. They usually present in early adulthood, and they are an abnormal tangle of blood vessels that are in the brain. Brain AVMs usually present either with bleeding from the AVM or with a seizure, though they can present with headaches or other less common presentations. Brain AVMs are diagnosed usually with an MRI of the brain though they can sometimes be seen with a CAT scan of the brain or with a study called an angiogram where we put a catheter in the artery in the leg, thread it up to the brain, and inject some material that helps us see the blood vessels in the brain. Brain AVMs are sometimes associated with brain aneurysms. This occurs about 7% of the time and they can have again an associated brain aneurysm which is an abnormal dilatation of one of the normal arteries in the brain which has separate risks associated with it. Brain AVMs are usually graded based on their size and their location. The natural history of brain AVMs is that about 3% per year will bleed and this of these people who of the people who bleed about half of these will fully recover and about half of the people who bleed will have serious consequences, including serious neurological problems, and it can be life-threatening. Of those people with brain AVM that have had a bleed, the risk for re-bleed during that first year is about 6%, somewhat higher, but after the first year, the risk rate drops again to about 3% per year. Options for treating brain AVMs include observation only, which would mean following the person clinically and with brain MRIs. Also would include embolization, which involves putting a catheter in the artery in the leg, threading it up to the abnormal vessels of the AVM, and injecting some materials to help clot off the AVM. A third option would be surgically removing the AVM. And a fourth option would be super-focused radiation, or stereotactic radiosurgery, which aimed at the AVM can cause the abnormal blood vessels of the AVM to clot off over time, usually two to three years, and once the abnormal blood vessels no longer have blood flow in them, they are no longer at risk for rebleeding. There are different ways of treating brain AVMs, and different people have their own algorithms and thoughts on how to treat brain AVMs. I will share with you my thoughts and how I treat them. First of all, brain AVMs that are either very large, let's say four, four and a half centimeters or bigger, or that are found in people who are elderly or have significant medical problems, I will usually leave alone. So that would be observation only, and I'll just follow the person with follow-up imaging and clinical exams. Brain AVMs that are very small, in which we think we can cure the brain AVM with embolization, we will usually choose to do embolization. Uh, this, again, usually involves brain AVMs that are very small and are accessible to embolization technique. Brain AVMs in patients who have had a bleed where the AVM is small and on the surface and in a non-sensitive part of the brain, and in patients who are younger and healthier, I will recommend removing the brain AVM after we have embolized the AVM to make sure that the AVM is going to have as little blood flow in it as possible for the surgery. Finally, all other brain AVMs, or most of the brain AVMs, I'm recommending stereotactic radiosurgery with gamma knife treatment. This is a one-day super-focused radiation treatment that will usually, or quite often, cure the brain AVM and over time cause all the blood vessels of the AVM to clot off. This can take two to three years, if after several years the brain AVM is still present, we can repeat the stereotactic radiosurgery treatment. But for most AVMs, I'm using this very low risk, minimally invasive, one day outpatient treatment.
In summary, there are many different options for treating brain AVMs, but most of the time they can be treated with minimally invasive techniques. Thank you.